Berlin, Germany, the home of G2 Esports, one of the world's greatest esports organizations. This is gaming on a massive scale, with prize money in the millions. Gamers are the new superstars. But at G2, they don't just create champions, they champion creators. We're back! Who would have thought it? Online streamers and content creators engage millions of fans, growing their communities, the backbone of esports' colossal rise to success. Now, 10 international streamers will battle it out for a spot in G2's prestigious creator squad. And a suitcase full of cash. They will compete in a series of real life challenges and go head to head on EA Sports FIFA 21. They will need flair, skill and confidence. So who has what it takes to make the squad? Representing Greece by way of England, Jason Javou Votsinos. Start playing in Greece. But then when we moved to England, that's when I really started to get fired up. Hailing from Sweden is Milo Miriam. I'm my first generation in Europe, from immigrant parents, I'm a woman. So I just want to show them that it can be diverse. Daniel, King Amenya, fighting for England. No matter your race, background, whatever it may be, you can make a way if you work hard and you're talented at what you do. From Germany, Kevin Eiskalt Silman. Streaming is more than just going live. You get a completely new family, your community. Also from England is Charles the Commoner Island. Obviously the 10,000 euros is like massive, but with G2 making the squad, it's like just the next step. Representing the Netherlands, Bastian Basti Peak. I was six years old, playing against my dad. He won the first three games and then I started beating him and here we are. <laughs> Out of France, it's Wilfred Rosé Nicole. I'm not trying to act like someone else. I'm just myself. Representing the Dominican Republic, Judy Peque Guilamo. If I need to think on how far I can get in this competition, of course, I'm really confident with myself. From Venezuela, residing in the UK, Santi Footcrutch Vasquez. I have made it from Venezuela about four years ago, streaming full time and supporting my family. And from right here in the city of Berlin, Daniel Ruski. Running. I'll just try to, to give my best. In Germany, we say with them Kopf durch die Wand, which means like with the head through the wall. Their destinies will collide in the battle to take the trophy and make the squad. All 10 contestants will be living together under one roof. Oh, well, welcome, that is. What's up? How's it going? Yeah, I'm Jace. Will. Wolf. Oh my god. Hi, lovely Hi. to meet you. Miriam. What's up, bro? They might be getting along right now, but there can only be one winner. And it's every person for themselves as they'll be tested in ways they could never have imagined. So I think maybe the first challenge might be with skills. Juggling. I feel like they're gonna take us out of our comfort zone. At the end of the day, we're joining a team. Well, I, I guess, I guess we have to be ready then. We see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. G two on three. One, two, three. G two. Three, G two. G two. Called the contestants to the famous Berlin Olympic Stadium, where some of the greatest football finals and World Cups have been held. But before you can understand the importance of being part of a team, you have to have the right gear. I'm from D2. That's official. We definitely win best kit in any league we win with this. And now for the side. I am the master of ceremonies, and they have no idea what's coming. To find the best person to join the G2 squad is going to be the biggest challenge of my life. But I've got a plan. It's bigger in real life. I'm ready. I hope they're ready. He's saying that reaction for me. That reaction. 
I didn't know it was going to be Philly, so like when he walked in, like it was a big surprise. Hey, what an entrance! I love that! Well, guys, listen, welcome to Berlin. Remember that by the end of this all, someone is going to join the G2 FIFA 21 creator squad. Well, obviously, it's about FIFA skills, but we're going to test your abilities away from that. We want to see if you've got passion, teamwork, the will to learn. Only one of you can win the 10,000 euros! <laughs> Only one! So, we are going to start with the first challenge. It's a five-a-side vote of football challenge. So, I'm going to need you guys to meet me up front in about five and ten minutes. Throughout the competition, contestants will be put through their paces in a series of real-life challenges inspired by some of the most popular in-game features. The first being the Volta match game mode variation that lets players take it back to the streets. It's five aside, fast paced, no rules action with flair is the focus. Each challenge winner will receive a tactical advantage, the chance to decide who will go head to head on EA Sports FIFA 21. Stakes are high as losing your match leaves you vulnerable and at risk of elimination. I like that. You see me come in, it's shh. So this is Volta Football Street Challenge. We're determined to find out who's going to make the best five-a-side team. When I heard it was a Volta match, I was quite excited because I play a lot of cage football. Bit of hustle and bustle, bit of sidestep. So I was excited for it. It's simple. I've brought a good buddy today. He goes by the name of Ed. And he's got crazy, crazy street skills. Please make some noise for the man himself. Ed Van Gils is one of street football's original legends. He is captain of Ronaldinho's all-star Globe Street team and one of the most popular characters in EA Sports FIFA 21. Ed for kills, how are you? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now he's a legend. As he came closer, I was like, oh wait, is this Ed? It was just an honor to stand with him on a, on a pitch. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you for being here, especially in, uh, in a court like this. This is like my, uh, my birthplace. Street football, it's a little bit different than 11 aside. You know, you gotta be a defender, midfielder, score the goals and sometimes you even got to be the goalie. Also, it's a team sport. What makes it different from 11 aside, it is more skillful. Obviously, you got to win, but you got to win with style. I'm here to help you out and I'm here to have a good time with y'all. Today, the winning player is whoever bags the most goals. But will they go for personal glory or team triumph? Milo is going to be our first captain. Make some noise for Milo. I like the ones that don't want to be captains. That's what I want. I really did want to be a captain. I knew that it was going to be a challenge and I was not ready for it at all. Either captain can call Ed off the bench for one minute in each half to boost their team's chances. George, I'm going to have you here on my left. It was a lot of pressure choosing my team. It's more physical, but it's more exciting than only sit in front of the TV. All right, I like the blue. All right, blue. Yeah, yeah he's got the yeah. proper Astros. <laughs> come on, show yourself Come on, with come, me. on come on, Kevin. Kevin. All right, Paris. Yeah. Ah, Venezuela, mi amor. Here we go. Oh, brother, last pick. So the teams have been picked and they have been finalized. It's time to get down and dirty. Let's go! Go! They've decided to bring Ed in nice and early! The captain's made his decision! Front for next time! Ed, the godfather, his feet are just too fast. I was like, how's this guy doing this? Dale, finish it! Yay! One new to the Irish team! One new to the Irish team! To play with Ed on the field is for me, you know, who knows him as a kid, unbelievable. Ed, you're off! No, 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 no. First challenge, you, you can feel the pressure a little bit. How dare you pick him last? Well, you can definitely tell a lot of these boys just play FIFA in a room for 24 hours. I haven't touched the ball in a while, so these muscles are better than those. Yeah, yeah! Nice All right, goal. good goal, 4-3. Yellows, you're letting them catch up. Hey, oh. Nice finish. What a great goal. Yay, yeah, yeah. yes, mi hermano. So, the current score is 7-3, and Jace and Santi are both on three goals. When you ball position, make it big. 
When you lose the ball, make it small. It makes it more difficult for them to score. Keep that in mind. And I want to hear the, the captain a little bit more. All right. Yeah? There we go. Let's go. One, two, three, win! The second half kicks off. The yellows call Ed on straight away. Oh, that's it. Milo's team were blown, so I decided to help them out. Let's go. It was painful watching them lose. I'm coming on. Like I scored big goals at Old Trafford. Philly is a really fun guy. He was quite fun to play with. I mean, I, I was like, maybe he's not that good. And oh man, my guy can dribble. You lot do the dirty work. I stay up here. I'll get the goals in. Pass it. No superstars in this team, Will. That's a penalty. That pass was so crap. We got Ed on our team as well. No goal, penalty to us. My rules, my show. Wait, he missed. Good goal. Shoot it. Yeah. Oh, nice I like that. Well done, well done, well done. You lot are so unfit, it's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I just want to say well done. A lot of you showed passion, teamwork. So final score was 13-8. I think we can all guess to who. And the winner of the Volta Football Challenge, yeah! Since I won the challenge, I got given the power to choose and um, try and influence a little bit the, uh, the competition tomorrow. Number one, I'll go against Danny. Number two, Dan, you're going to go with Miriam. Basti, play against my man Will. Ooh, I like that okay. The two Latin American lads, okay. which leaves okay. Charles. Okay, okay, Kevin. Kevin. Okay, good luck. My man Kevin over here. Okay. So I had to look back at what I know about the players around me and their skill, try and put the two best players against each other and give myself a bit of a favourable win, shall we say. Guys, this isn't a joke. Game face is on. Look each other in the eyes, size each other up. Now we've made some friends, we've built some bonds. Fun and games is over. So obviously Jason won the whole thing, so he gave me Miriam. We're, we're cool, however, I'm here to win 10,000, so there's no friendly vibes there. I've got to do what I've got to do. Jordi's from Dominican Republic, I'm from Venezuela, so we're like kind of close, the only two South Americans here. We are friends, but we need to win, and there's only one. I love this t-shirt for today. First match today. Mm. Great. How are you guys feeling though? It could change the dynamics of the flat. Yeah. I'm already extremely competitive, so like I I just wanted to win. So how are you guys feeling? Are you are you excited? Are you nervous? I'm excited. No, Anxious? I'm nervous. I'm excited. I just, I just play yeah. the game. Yeah, yeah, play the game. Exactly. Yeah. Play the game what we love. Let the football do the talking, that's what exactly. I mean. Exactly. You feel like <laughs> You're confident. I'm confident in my gameplay. I don't have any nerves. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I don't have any expectations. Like, yeah, and I, I wish you all the best. Hey! hey. <laughs> May the best one win. I'm, I'm good to go whenever. I'm good to go. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. This is the dome. This is where it all happens. Blood, sweat, tears. Once the door is sealed, it's just player v player. This is where you feel the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. You know what I'm gonna say now? Let the games begin! I want to see. I want to see in your lineups. Get in your lineups, guys. Serious. This is the level world of gaming. Understand? You are all born players. Every single one of you are meant to be here right now. This is your time now, guys. This is where the button bashing, the sweating, but most importantly, the tactics come out. <laughs> I have a special guest. He's a legendary esports gamer. He is the founder of one of the biggest esports teams in the world that goes by the name of G2. He used to wear silly colorful scarves when he was gaming. Oh. 
Esports, Carlos Ocelet Rodriguez is a legendary former player, esports icon and true entertainer to millions of fans around the world. Right at the top of his game, Carlos founded G2 and grew it into one of the biggest esports organisations on the planet. Give the man some space, back in your positions, back in your positions. Aye, that was fun. The reality is that if you want to be a part of G2, you have to be entertained, you have to have high energy. I want the best mechanics. You might be friends with each other, but I really don't care. I want the number one. And I have good news for you. Two of your teammates, or you, will be going out tonight. You literally, like, take the plane and go home. Here, there's 10,000 euros. There's only one person that knows the combination for this, and that's me. When I saw Carlos walk into the room, that was crazy, man, it was crazy. The energy he brought into the room, like the way he spoke, the way he behaved, everything is just exactly what I was expecting and more. You are here for the cash prize as well as the G2 Cup and the chance to be a G2 creator. So one more time, make some noise for Carlos! We have picked the 10 strongest teams in EA Sports FIFA 21 and assigned them randomly to the contestants. It's a level playing field. Oh, as Patrice Evra would say, I love this game! Let's go! Our first match, Rasky versus Javor. Who knows how this is going to go? Things can change from game to game, like real life football. Let the games begin! Rusky scored the first goal of this year's making the squad. More than decent this from United. And he's broken free. Javor fought back to make it 1-1. Delivered into the box. That was a good goal to be fair. 2-1 to Rusky. Can he get them level? And it's in. A goal for Manchester United. Can they get themselves in front here? Javor hit a quick fire double to come back and lead 3-2. Still pressing for an equaliser. Oh! Rusky didn't give up though. He dug deep and equalised again. And that's full time. Final score, 3-3. Three, three. Yo, I feel like I've got to start with you, my guy. Yes, mate. You picked Rusky because you felt like he was the better player. Yes. Talk to me, what happened? So, uh, I was Fair trying enough. to be a bit more, bit more flashy. Fair enough. Rusky, how did you feel going into the game? Was you, was you confident? Was you nervous? Yeah, it, it made me nervous. I tried my best and yeah. It worked out for you? Yeah, man. All right, well, boys, give them a round of applause. Match two, it's the commoner versus Ice Cat. It will be very hard against all the contestants because they are real FIFA players. Can they forge ahead? They do! The commoner raced into an early advantage. He's in here. He then chipped the keeper to make it 2 0. Well, terrific skill. Commoner's cruising here, it's free. Can he put it away? It really wasn't a good day for Ice Cat, conceding a fourth goal without reply. And that's full time. Let's go! Final score 4 0 to the Commoner. Well, I'm going to start with Ice Cat. What do you think happened there, man? The first half was not good. Yeah? Yeah, the two chips was my dad. You were superb, mate. Um, going into the game, was you confident anyway? I mean, you just got to take advantage of what works in this game, you yeah. know? Like, the goalie comes out even a little bit, you can chip him. Match three, King Amenya versus Milo. OK, this is serious now, so you have to just hope for the best. See if the FIFA gods bless you. Let the games begin. Can they forge ahead? This one's got off to a slow start. A lot of defending going on. Still level here. Keeper did his job to begin with. This match was obviously going nowhere and the crowds weren't impressed. Finally, Amenya broke the deadlock. 1-0. With Amenya playing up to the crowd, Milo snuck in to disrupt the opposition bench. And still an opportunity. And the keeper had the measure of it. I won't lie, I was pretty glad when the full-time whistle blew. Final score. 1-0 to Armenia. This was one of the worst games of FIFA I've ever seen in my life. Milo, you talk to me. Um, was you confident going into the game? No, 
cool. Like, I know he's been practicing. Listen, he's been practicing. How many dates? You answer so your I questions, knew. and then we'll get to I'm my bit. You surprised. answer your team. You should have scored more. Mind. I'm very disappointed. Spud me. Match four and the battle of the Latin Americans. Peke versus Crunch. My journey as a content creator is sort of lonely, but now we're all together in this. He's like crazy. Let the game begin! These two were evenly matched. No one wanted to concede. Is that a referee from Real Madrid or what? And he might be through here. Crunch showed composure from a great through ball to go 1-0 up. I want to change my goalkeeper. Goalkeeper should take charge. Second half. Good looking cross. Pepe would have been denied and equalised to make it 1-1. And there goes the final whistle. It was a draw at full time and that was definitely a fair result. Uh, Pepe, how, how did it feel playing that game? Yo, bro, I'm really good on defence, yeah. but I don't know how to attack. Crunch, talk to me, man. I thought you played well. To me, it's like weird because yeah. like, I scored one and I was like, we need to do another one like that, but I didn't. <laughs> Our final fixture, Basti versus Rose. Honestly, I'm here to win. My level is way higher than it was a couple of years ago when I was into his sport. This one was dubbed El Clasico, and it was Basti piling on the pressure straight away. Great goal from Basti to open up a 1-0 lead. Oh, a lovely ball. He just needs to keep a cool head. Basti hit Rosé with a sucker punch to make it 2-0 just before the full-time whistle. Basti made a big statement with that result. With the matches over, it was time to reveal the league table. I've been working on this little room, so guys, please make your way in. I'm going to break the news in the Pringles playroom. Third place was Amenya. In second place, we had Basti. And top of the leaderboard, we had the Commoner. It was time to announce whose number was up in the competition. So, as much as I love spending time with all of you, you need to understand that this is a competition and there can only be one winner. At the start of the challenge, I mentioned that two people will be going home tonight. And I can reveal the bottom two are Rosé and Ice Cut. However, I've decided nobody's going home! Because I'm a sneaky guy, I wanted to keep them on their toes. I gave the contestants a lifeline and let them have another chance to prove themselves in the competition. Next time we're making the squad. Terrible. Who knows how this is going to go? It's not just about raw skill. Things can change from game to game. First person that will be going home is... 